Good morning, guys. Good morning, yes. uh, We are having Chick fil A for breakfast, which Not is a first. Kind of weird. It is kind of weird to have chicken this early in the morning. Very weird. <laughs> but it's not bad. We're currently house and puppy sitting. There's Huxley, the big golden retriever, and then Biscuit. What about me? Well, you're you're helping house. Oh, uh, well, you put me in the picture. And then Sebastian. Like, Hi. <laughs> so <clears throat> we're doing a vlog today. It is. Thursday, September 28th, and I'm getting a tattoo. One, two, three. So, one of my friends from college is now a tattoo apprentice. Is that what you call her? Yeah. So, she works at a tattoo shop in the area, and I messaged her and was like hey i really want to get this tattoo done and she goes oh my god yeah like i'd love to do it for you so we're gonna go there i'm super excited kind of nervous but it's fine i have class today he has class today I'm close. Ugh. so i just figured we'd start the morning with you guys it's a little vlog i have to go get ready and then go to class and same with you. You get my own. And then I'll be back here around 11, 11 30 ish. I'll be back around like 2 30 ish, 2 40 ish. Okay, so just got back from school. <clears throat> Ew. Sebastian is at school right now. He's gonna come this way. And then I realized that I have a meeting today at 2 30 on Zoom. So hopefully he can drive, but. Yeah, I'm not really stressing about the meeting. Um, but yeah, I'm just doing homework. And having water because she said to be very hydrated. And then I'm probably going to have a pretty good meal before we go. Actually, not like a giant meal. Because I don't want to get, like, I don't, who knows, maybe I'll get nauseous. It's not going to be, the dog is like literally trying to creep up and cuddle and I'm trying to do homework but ow that was on my foot they're cute though but yeah I'm just gonna chill watch some tv do some homework until he gets back and then we'll have some lunch and we'll go I'm so excited so 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 excited quick update we are driving and we're literally gonna make it one minute to spare so Sebastian will be the next part filming me when I get my tattoo we're not gonna like film my friend just me getting the tattoo because I feel like that's kind of weird but gotta get back to it because we're literally using the GPS on my phone so it's fine okay so the tattoo shop was playing really loud copyright music so I don't want to get copyrighted so I'm gonna talk over this first section and then play you guys non copyrighted music over it so the tattoo came out really great but she had to put the stencil on like 10 different times it was kind of funny because we wanted it to be absolutely perfect because it's permanent obviously but the purple is the stencil and then she also used numbing cream which really helped but i have super sensitive skin so it was getting like really inflamed really fast but that's okay and in this these like clips sebastian would like check on me and I was just like red as a tomato did not want to talk I was like gripping the chair like crazy so I hope you guys enjoy this part of the video and then after these clips I talk about how I felt during the experience so if you guys are interested in that you guys could just skip forward or whatever you want to do Summer and 
So we just got done with the tattoo. It's really good. I I don't know how I could show them the tattoo. It's okay. They'll it see has like more. skin, like a layer of stuff to protect the skin. But a f final thoughts. I think it is a, an adorable tattoo, and she did a great job. It really, really hurt though. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. I think I just have a really low hate intolerance. But, yeah, it, it hurt. It hurt and I felt like for a second I was gonna be sick. Um, I think I still feel a little queasy. Yeah, you, can, you look queasy. Do, do, I, do I really? You, I feel like, like I look yeah. pale right now. She was like bright red and like- The only reason like, I say I feel like I look pale is because you can see all my pimples. Did I look pale? You didn't look pale, but like I said, you got really bright red. I <laughs> it thought, was, it I was thought, hot in there yeah, too, though. No, but like, it looked like you were biting down or something. You were like I, sucking yeah. on your lips so you could like deal I kept with like the pain. squeezing my face together. Yeah. Ooh, it stinks right now, though. She said it was going to be normal. Huh? Yeah, ow. It'll take time. Maybe. How am I going to sleep? <laughs> uh, not on your back, that's for sure. Um, she defined it as like cat scratches. <laughs> It wasn't a scratch for me. I think that's just because my pain tolerance level is different what was than it more hers. Like, then? Mm. like, what would you compare it to? If you could compare it to anything. Imagine, like, having a needle and pulling it on your skin. Or, like, someone giving you a shot? No, no, no. Not like shot. You know, like, a sewing needle? Yeah. Imagine like on the skin they just like pull like, like this with the tip of the needle all the way down like they're trying to cut through your skin. Yeah, I hate to say that's exactly it. what it felt like. I've, I've never weird. felt that before, so I can't come. Yeah, I know exactly. It. I would say it's almost similar to like what you would think of as a scalpel, but duller because it's a needle. But it, yeah, it hurt. It hurt. I'm glad it's done. Her numbing stuff did help. It looked like I did because your skin, I won't lie, you'll see in the video too. Mm -hmm. It was numbing and getting reddish around the ink. Mm -hmm. And then she would apply that and it looked and it like, would it like it was like localized itself. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, I definitely felt towards the end she was going a lot lighter. Yeah, because I Because she was she just would, touching up. Yeah. Um, I think she made the initial ones like really. I'm sure deep. she had to, yeah. But honestly, like she said, it was kind of interesting that. I felt more of it towards my spine, like towards the middle of my body. I was gonna say versus sorry. towards the outside, but I have more fat on my arm on the outside, so like that's why I thought that was, it made sense that it felt a little less. Yeah, I was gonna say too, like through the vertebrae, you have basically your largest nerves. nerves yeah. So it's like, I mean, it kind of makes sense, but at the same time, I'm no tattoo artist. So. Yeah, I honestly like I don't know what schooling they go through for this. I know she has. Um, I know she went to college. That's, yeah, that's really And her cool thing though. was art. Um, but yeah, it was definitely painful. I definitely think I would get it again, but I would question getting a bigger tattoo than this. I, I would want Because I would have to do sessions. Like, I don't think I could sit there yeah, longer than what we just did right now. Really? Really. So you think, like, small is the way to go for I mean, that? how long was that? Like, 20 minutes? I don't even know, honestly. I think she said it would take 10 minutes, but, like, the whole thing took about 20, oh, like, yeah. from when the ink started. Yeah. She had to do a little touch-up, too. Yeah. Like that, um, so I can see it. Yeah, it was, it was good. I'm curious to see how it heals in the next few days. So hopefully we can keep that in this vlog. But I'm still shaky and a little bit queasy. And I, my thought process was, I know I'm not going to pass out. Like, I know, I feel that I'm, I'll be okay. But if you do feel like that, I, I recommend, like, asking to take a minute. No, no, yeah, they're super open about it, too. But my problem was the moment I took a minute for the first time was when I was like, all right, I don't want to do this anymore. It hurts. And then I was like, we just got to do it. So then I knew if I would have stopped during that second portion... I would have not wanted to finish it. I would have been yeah, like, okay, been like, I'll pay you, but like, yeah. I'm done. Wow. 
yeah, it, it, I'm, I guess I'm just, I got sensitive yeah. skin. I mean, we literally, this is the craziest thing though, is because we did um, a sensitivity thing in anatomy and I am like significantly more like hypersensitive to needles, and to needles and like thin points than a lot of other people that were doing the lab. Which I thought was really interesting. So like that can make so much sense why I feel this feel way about it. But I don't know. I mean, I definitely would go again. She gave me a lollipop. Oh shit. And she even said the first touch up was free. I'm yeah, like, first touch up was free once like the month is up. Yeah, I'm like, I think that I thought that was a cool deal, honestly. She lollipop. Gave me a lollipop. Lollipop. You know what? That's a probably a good lollipop. idea. What? Sugar. Maybe that's my because the adrenaline, like the glucose yeah. levels dropped. But then I have a loyalty card. We're literally gonna shout her out. It's at Art by Natty, and I'll put it somewhere on the screen. But sure she did a really like good job. Right her loyalty card. If you do five tattoos, you get a free tattoo. No so, way. Yeah. Oh, I need five tattoos. But the free tattoo must be a two inch by two inch or smaller, that's which is okay. fine. Yeah, that's that's still free. Or a fifteen dollar reward for a larger tattoo. That's a pretty good. And then this is her business card. Uh, yeah. She did a really good job. And I got a sticker that I think I'm going to put on. I don't know what I'm going to put it on. But it's cute. It says Tattoo Barbie. The needle initially, I felt it and I was like, okay. I was like working myself up for nothing and then she dragged it down for the like letter <laughs> and I was like oh my god no yeah, like, that's not what I was expecting that yeah I was like this is way worse than what the needle was just poking and I was like okay I had a hard time breathing because I was holding that thing on my chest yeah, you were holding it tight too I couldn't I couldn't get a full breath in so I think that's why I was getting lightheaded too but I mean we're here not pass it out anytime soon. I I feel like I'm making it sound a lot worse than it is. I don't want you guys to like be like, oh my god, I'm never gonna get a tattoo. <laughs> because like I think tattoos are cool and they're a way of expressing yourself, but they're pricey and permanent and slightly painful. Just slightly. Yeah. Some more than others. It's a pretty cool experience. It was cool to watch too and record. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, yeah, it was really cool to watch. Just seeing the whole process behind it. But anyways, we're gonna go get food and we'll see you when we go get food later. Just a heads up guys, we are going to go get food, okay? I know, I think I said it like five times. <laughs> yeah, I did. But I just like keep coming back to the pain, it hurts right now. Hey guys, don't forget, <laughs> we're gonna get food. <laughs> okay, we get it, we get it. Do we? We should let them know one more time that we are going to get food. It is a necessity. It's a necessity. 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 Yeah. Okay, so we ended up getting Chipotle and then did all our other things. We went home, took a shower. I came back to the dog's house, but I've had some time to reflect and I think it looks so good. Like... It looks so good. Anyways, my friend did such a good job and I'm super happy with it. The thing is, like, I can see why she was like, yeah, like, as soon as you get this one, like, you're gonna want to get another one. Like, they are addicting. I mean, I was, like, feeling really queasy and, like, I will forever remember that feeling. But tell me why I want another. And it's, like, literally only been a few hours but special unfortunately isn't in this outro but thank you guys so much for watching if you guys want more videos like this please let me know because fashion wants to get a tattoo as well and eventually i want to get a tattoo that's somewhat similar to my dad's tattoo so we're both going to go get tattoos together so that would be cool to film too but that is it for this video so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed 
And I hope this didn't like steer you away from getting tattoos because I literally just told you guys like I, re I want another one already. So if you're gonna do it, do it. I think it's really cool that this, so technically this was my birthday present from Sebastian, was this tattoo. So I think it's really cool. I, you know, I think I'm gonna get a lot of idea of ideas. I'm gonna get a lot of questions about what this means, and I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but it is perfection with the C in perfection, just slightly off from the rest of the lettering. Uh, basically, to symbolize that life isn't perfect and I'm not perfect and nobody is perfect but being imperfect is what makes you perfect so within the last uh, the, within the last I'd say few months or so life has just been throwing my family specifically curveballs and unexpected turbulence and when I saw this tattoo I just knew I had to have it and to me, it symbolizes a time in life where there may be a hiccup, but at the end of the day, life will put itself back on track and there will always be something to look forward to. And I think that's super important. And I don't want to get too deep on here. So yeah, that's what my tattoo symbolizes. And I'm a perfectionist. So just having that daily reminder on my shoulder <laughs> of, you know, Although you want to be perfect, it isn't always reality. And it's kind of like my own little reality check. So thank you guys so much for watching. Comment what you guys would get as a tattoo. Like that would be a cool comment to do. And don't forget to leave a like, comment your favorite tattoo, and... Subscribe if you're new because if you think I'm funny or if you think Sebastian's funny or you think that you relate to us in any way, shape, or form, you should just follow us because we make crazy content all the time. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.